I was an aspiring physicist uh, who lost his passion in his work. Uh, through brain education, I found my uh, life purpose. My name is Philip Jang. Um, I live in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm a yoga instructor at Body and Brain Yoga Tai Chi. There's many things I overcame through um, brain education. Brain education has been a part of my life, my whole life, because um, my mother, uh, she's been doing it before I was born, and she was a brain education instructor for uh, kids. And when I first started this program, I, I didn't have a lot of affinity towards it. Probably the biggest thing I overcame through brain education is my mental health. I had the um, anxiety disorder for a very long time in my life. Um, in my youth, uh, I was always surrounded by kind of um, negative, kind of always uh, conflicting environment, like my grandparents fighting, my parents fighting, something like that. So um, I think that's where it developed at the in initially. And uh, many events occurred throughout in my life. Like I was bullied when I was in um, elementary school. That was a big factor. I didn't know I had anxiety until I was in college. Uh, there was a huge event um, where a lot of people gathered and uh, that's when I really like hit me like, <gasps> and my heart started to run very quickly and I actually had to run out and like throw up somewhere. So that's when I realized I had anxiety. Until then I just was living in this constant anxious state. I, did, I didn't even know that I was like living like this. When I was in university, I was a very um, like a successful student. Uh, I was like a top student in uh, physics and I was like the president of the physics uh, society and I was working on a lot of um, in a lot of research projects and mentoring a lot of um, younger students. So on the outside I was always like this outgoing and energetic and always encouraging person but um, I knew I had something wrong inside because I never kind of felt it was like my true self and inside I was always kind of something was going wrong inside of me like I had all these negative like cynical emotions and I didn't know how to deal with it at the time so the best thing I had to do was just hide them away and just show my kind of um, kind of outside self. I had a lot of emotional and mental problems that I was neglecting so it was like a snowballing more momentum and there's a point where I couldn't take this anymore. So I had to drop um, all my kind of social relationships. I had to drop from school. I had to drop all the research projects I was working on. Uh, I had to drop my work. Basically what I did was um, crawl into my room, just staying in my room in my bed. And I had so much like uh, chest pain, like so much agony. And in my brain, it was just running. Oh, I'm a kind of worthless human being. Mm, like, I don't deserve love. I don't deserve to love and I don't deserve to be loved. I was in this kind of uh, surreal state where I felt like um, I was like this third person just out of my body. I had an out of body experience just watching my body uh, do like live through the life. And um, so I would, I would be talking to someone and it didn't feel like I was talking to someone. I would just be like this observer watching this body, speaking to that person, something like that. I felt very disconnected to everything I did. Uh, I no longer felt um, joy in anything I was doing. Uh, nothing was working for me. And I tried many things like exercise, things like that, but nothing I did, I felt like it was helping me. I was just keep going darker and darker and darker, becoming more and more sick. And there came a time where I became so physically and kind of mentally, emotionally sick. So I, I went into the scientific career, career uh, thinking that it was something I really wanted to do, something that's really beneficial for the society and the world. But the more I was going deeply into it, I realized this wasn't what I wanted. I saw kind of all my people around me, my colleagues, team members, professors, they're always so stressed and depressed. I was in a very kind of competitive environment where instead of people like trying to work to to together, um, always fighting against each other for a grant or scholarship or trying to prove that their uh, scientific result is like better, something like that. The more I was doing it, I realized I, I don't feel like this is what I wanted to do in the first place. I started this because I wanted to help. I wanted to help the world. I saw no way this was 
gonna be beneficial to the world. So that's when I started to doubt myself, doubt my path. And that was probably the biggest、uh, cause of what brought me down into this big state of depression, anxiety, and all these mental illnesses. Luckily, I was still working part time at the、um, Body and Brain、uh, headquarters because I knew a lot of、um, like Excel and like programming, things like that. So、um, they recommended me this opportunity to go to New Zealand. Uh, that's when I realized I needed a big change in my life. So I dropped everything. I sold all my clothes, shoes, because I was really into like kind of fashion, something like that. So I sold everything at a not a good deal price. I sold everything, like half price. I just needed the money to go buy the ticket to New Zealand. And I just dropped everything and went there. Why? Because I, I needed something desperately. I wanted to change. So, in,、uh, the reason I went to New Zealand was because they had the、um, Earth Citizens Leadership Program、uh, that was for young people all around the world. During that program, I really、um, grew a lot, I experienced a lot. Later,、um, they needed somebody to teach the、um, yoga classes at the new center, and they had nobody else. So, they kind of made me the center manager. And before then, I probably taught classes maybe like two to three times. <laughs> And they just made me the center manager.、Um, I was very kind of afraid and feel like I cannot fulfill my duty. But I said I, I'll do it because I was so desperate to overcome all the darkness I was. So, through being center manager and, and yoga instructor in the Body and Brain Yoga Center in New Zealand, I got to connect,、uh, learn how to connect with people, and really learn that how、uh, joyful it is. How heartwarming it is that I can do something that comes from my heart to help people, and I see them improve their physical condition,、um, a lot of the problems they're going through emotionally and mentally. That was kind of a big a gro growth, growth moment for me. And unfortunately,、um, I had to uh, leave uh, after six months of being manager in the、um, Auckland Center. I came back to the,、um, Arizona. Immediately when I came back, I started to feel all this anxiety again.、Uh, I realized that was because I kind of ran away from anxiety. So I had many options there、um, what to do. Like,、uh, did I want to go back to New Zealand? Did I want to work in the headquarters again and in the, or in the centers? And、uh, I decided to work in the body and brain centers、uh, because I wanted to overcome myself、uh, through people. And I wanted to overcome kind of like anxiety and depression. And I felt like this was the right thing to do for me. I wasn't running away anymore. I've been working、uh, in the body and brain centers for、um, about more than a year. And I overcame many things through this practice. There's so many things I overcame that I cannot just、uh, make a list out of right now.、Uh, like, for example, when I first started,、um, I was going around trying to talk to people and sharing brochures. And even before talking to them, I was like so anxious and my head would feel like it was about to explode. So I'm like, <laughs> and I would probably just run away <laughs> and tell my center manager, oh, I can't do this. I have anxiety. <laughs> yes, but、um, after getting to interact with so many people,、um, I really feel so much more open now. I feel、uh, even sometimes joyful about going out and meeting people. Even times、uh, it's still anxious, still fearful. I feel afraid to go out and talk to people, but now I can do it. And,、uh, and many times、um, I kind of make these new connections, and I feel a lot of meaning and joy from making these connections. Before, I was going through a lot of kind of feeling no desire and meaning in life, but I realized those are just kind of physical, emotional, mental phenomena, energy. That you can change. So now I feel, before I felt so hopeless in life, now I feel kind of, I wake up, I feel excitement. Like, what can I do today to improve myself? I have many things I want to do now.、Uh, I have many, I still have many aspirations. Now I have a kind of more clearer purpose.、Uh, it's so that I benefit myself and I benefit others. I make myself healthy, happy, peaceful, and I can help others also become healthy, happy, peaceful. 
So now that I have this kind of strong center in my life, I feel like my life is so much more kind of meaningful and、uh, worth living. Through brain education,、uh, what I learned was that、uh, you have control over your、um, emotions, you have control over your body. Yes. Many times, what happens with people like anxiety is that anxiety, something causes anxiety and they just let it happen to them and they don't know that they have、um, kind of a choice, like conscious choice that can help them. What I realized,、uh, what I learned through brain education is that you can strengthen your core、yes. by feeling, being more inside your body, feeling your body more, and being less in your brain. You can actually、um, lessen the anxiety and kind of be more grounded. So,、uh, one of the biggest things I learned、uh, through brain education is that that helped me overcome my anxiety is that. Uh, anxiety and negative emotions, things like these, are just energy in your body that goes in and out. So rather than just、uh, feeling like I have anxiety, I have these emotions, and feeling hopeless about it, feeling like they're yourself, I realized that these are things I can let go and release through physical exercise. So, one of the biggest、um, exercises that helped me overcome my anxiety is called the brainwave vibration, Tanjin Tepping.、Yes. So, what you can do is、um, just gently straighten your spines, and two inches below your belly button is where the tanjin is. So, this is kind of like your、um, center of your physical body.、Yes. So, by feeling more inside your body and feeling your body more,、um, you can be less affected by anxiety and kind of take action in a more grounded place. So, what you want to do is make a fist and gently start tapping your tanjin point. And also, what helps is the brainwave vibration, which is gently close your eyes, gently shaking your head side to side, and comfortably breathing in through your nose. As you breathe out, imagine you're letting go all the pressure, all the stress and tension built up in your brain. So, as you're doing this exercise,、uh, you might have kind of a lot of thoughts enter in and out of your brain. Like, oh, what am I doing? Is this really helpful? And those kind of also anxious mind that you are experiencing keep staying in your brain. So, what you want to focus while doing this exercise is try to bring your awareness two inches inside the tanjun point. Feel the vibration. And as you breathe out, relax and <sighs> imagine you're letting go. Of all those anxious thoughts, stress, emotions that are kind of occupying your brain and making your brain heavy and tense. So,、uh, before brain education,、um, I had so much、uh, emotion, negative emotions and kind of trauma from the past, something like that, that has always been、um, dominating my life,、um, my relationships with other people.、Um, so, the, one of the biggest Improvements I saw through brain education is how, through purifying all these negative emotions, things in myself, I was able to improve relationships with people outside. I always block myself from making connections because、um, I saw like myself in them. It's like, oh, that, prob- that person's probably you know, very close to minded. That person probably has a lot of emotional issues. but In reality, I was just watching myself through them. Now that I'm learning to love myself more and accept myself and、um, kind of address all these things inside of me more positively, my interaction with the people outside, with this whole world, is drastically changing. I used to have this like, big, kind of cynical view about this world. I'm starting to see much more joy and love. The biggest kind of Gift I received from brain education is probably hope towards life. I was an aspiring physicist、uh, who lost his passion in his work.、Uh, through brain education, I found my、uh, life purpose. <laughs>